hello, hello, hello. Welcome to Mass Debaters. My name is DeAndre Robinson. These are my friends. Say hello, friends. Hey, friends. Back at the end of the February segment of Black History Year. Surprise. It's your girl, Cam. Back here Where to hold these people down and keep them in line. I will never get CJ in line, but I will always try. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, friends? It's your boy, Evan Hamataki. Um, <coughs> Follow me on Twitter at Hamataki, H A M A T T A C K Y. Hey, it's your boy CJ, aka the summer school valedictorian. Hey, uh, welcome to Mass Debaters, home of committed debates. We will debate some of the most unlikely of topics. Just like the three topics we have today, uh, we do have some uh, announcements. Uh, first things first, uh, we will be doing, like I said, the Black Tournament uh, segment, Black, Black Movie Tournament segment, uh, the finals is Friday versus Coming to America. All right. All right. With that being said, too, uh, we want to help you all out. Um, I mean, we know we have a lot of Black followers, and we and we know how COVID uh, is hitting everybody hard. So there will be a link to the Black Lives Matter uh, Survival Fund. Um, Black Lives Matter organization is giving away $1,000 to African Americans to help them with uh, COVID relief, um, and, they, and the survey for this is really, 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 really small. They ask you your name, your your phone number, your address. Are you black? Are you gay? That's it. All right. Uh, that also being said, um, watch out for our new segment coming uh, next month. We're going to do movie reviews. Uh, I'm not sure which one we're going to do first. However, I do know we're going to do Wally's Wonderland. Cause that shit was fucking hilarious. <laughs> that shit was hilarious. <laughs> and I probably <laughs> all right. Oh my uh, god. Nicholas Cage, Nicholas Cage didn't speak a lick in that movie, and that shit was hilarious. <laughs> That's his best speaking role ever. <laughs> <laughs> all right. <laughs> and uh last but not least, uh, we are sponsored by Crumb Fusion Desserts. Shout out to my friend Angie Crumb. Uh, she he didn't it. share them with us, Angie. He's yeah. no, we don't know what it tastes like. No. Nope. Yeah, we don't know what it tastes like. We dreaming them cookies. <laughs> Topic number one: We're doing the best sneaker brand. My choice is Balenciaga. Because until you put your foot in one, you don't understand the comfort. Okay, the same way some people were talking shit and they put their foot in some Uggs and everybody wearing Uggs. Same level of comfort. Okay, it's beyond ridiculous. Uh, so is the price tag, but say la vie, bitch. <laughs> like you live and let live. Like the end. Um, I could care less about the but about, about the price. That, that the price didn't because I'm not buying a motherfucker, so I could care less. Uh, <laughs> that being said, all right, these are some of the ugliest fucking sneakers I've ever seen in my life. These are you know remember yeah these remind me of what was the those the first step curry funky ones. Yo, listen, I looked these up. I looked these up, and these were that's these not the ones I'm talking about. Ones. These are some ugly. They, they, they but they're little. also trendsetters because they came out with the chunky shoe, and then so did every other fucking brand. So that, sh- that shit remind me of, 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 the, of the first, the first Steph Curry's. The, the, the shoe, that shit looked nasty. Like that shit was gross. I was, I was I'm like, how much money? Super sleek pair, but as far as comfort goes, but, for okay. no, no, for men or for women? Because I, I look like for men. Like I had to do from for for what would be for me. And those sneakers for men are fucking disgusting looking. I still think you're talking about the chunky ones. I don't give a fuck. They are nasty. <laughs> Listen, DeAndre didn't want to get into the fact that they cost a thousand dollars, people. Literally. So right. does an iPhone. Hey, mm. yeah, but I can pay iPhone and monthly installments on my phone plan. I ain't gotta drop a rack every time. Okay. You your credit card. Listen, listen. I, I understand what Cam's saying is you never felt the comfort until you stick your foot inside of one of these Balenciagas, right? I I ain't never known how good my bed is till I slept in it. You're right. But listen, I ain't paying no motherfucking thousand dollars for no motherfucking shoes. I'm sorry. I won't even spend 250 on a pair of Jordans. I won't even spend more than a hundred dollars on anything more than football cleats that I know I'm gonna wear the fuck out. So I, I, I can't listen. If, if you're rich, by all means, Balenciaga's is your shit. Balenciaga's it can be as comfortable as they want, but for a thousand dollars, it better do a lot more for me than just come from my feet. It also brings you bitches. Yeah, gold diggers. Uh they're still bitches. Now look, I know. I finally looked. I looked this shit up. 
you got to be out your damn motherfucking mind. <laughs> Are you fucking kidding me? That's 500 bucks a foot. Dude, the fuck no. <laughs> Never. It's and they fucking got you looking. Dude, no, no. Whatever the fuck you call them, they can kiss my motherfucking ass. You ain't never getting none of my money. Fuck y'all. Yeah, the best sneaker brand is a generic brand. Any brand. I don't give a fuck. That's a cop out I'm here, bro. Yeah. I'm not paying I'm not paying a bunch of money for any type of shoes. So, it is my color my color scheme is black, gray, dark blue. That's it. So, any type of pair any pair of black shoes or white shoes go with my fit. Yeah, so I don't need I don't need a bunch of fucking shoes to fucking coordinate with. So I got you know, I gotta go shoe shopping next month. I gotta replace the shoes that I've had for over a year. So they fucking have them worn out, they're still comfortable. It's just it's just time. No, but like you, you don't need to spend hundreds of dollars for something that go on your fucking feet. Okay, I spent like forty, I don't know, like forty, fifty bucks most, and my shit and the shit fucking last. I don't, I see no point in doing all other stuff. That makes no sense to me. <clears throat> so I had to wear the generics when I was younger, right? I'm just a try. They're not as comfortable as you think, but if you don't compare them to anything, you wouldn't know. They don't last. They're probably the quickest to fucking break down on you. And they're usually ugly. <laughs> they're usually ugly. <laughs> so even, even if they end up checking off the comfortable box and the long-lasting box, the ones that always last and are comfortable are also always ugly. Even if they uh, use find a cute, a cute generic, it's going to fall apart. I ain't looking at them. I ain't ain't looking at them. Listen, what I'm saying is there is comfort, there is like longevity, and there's looks. Those three things together make a good shoe. And then if you put a good price tag on it, boom. Problem with generics is you're only going to get two out of three motherfucking boxes. I don't need looks. Uh, Look, either all I black or all white. That's choice, it. But what I'm saying yeah. is, that's yeah, what yeah, no. <laughs> Exactly. Hey, exactly. You, they, they're comfortable. And the last, like I said, the ones I got right now are comfortable as shit. And they've lasted over a year. I can oh, keep shoot. going with them, but I'm just saying it's time. It's time to get oh. another pair. Uh, dude, I don't care. Yeah. Dude, they all, they all black. Ain't nobody, ain't nobody gonna get down on my, get down on my hands. Those are service shoes. You're supposed to do uh. the, wear those when you work in Red Lobster. You're not supposed to wear, just have them. Mm-hmm. Those are work shoes. Uh, yeah. Oh, actually, no. Oh, I could get work shoes too. I decided not to. No, I just got regular ones. But yeah, basic black. That's all you need. Uh, first of first things first. You said something else. Uh, on on the on, on the, the chat. I'm just let to say that right now. All right. So I couldn't. <laughs> I, I, I couldn't. I'm sorry. I didn't know. Yo, well, y'all yeah, question. Your ass. Yeah. I didn't say nothing. I was ready to <laughs> Yeah. yeah, y'all should have said something. Yeah, I, I was with Cam. Uh, I was with, uh, All I was, my notes are on genetic uh, shoes, bro. Yeah, yeah, I was, with, I, I was with Cam. I was gonna, I was gonna come at like from fake ass static shock shoes. Anyway, uh, <laughs> uh, so, but, but generic. Listen, here's the thing about generic, and I'm not gonna lie. This is actually one of my album mentions because I did put the shacks. No, I put pay less. Uh, <laughs> pay less shoes, uh, as my mom mentions, because we were broke and we couldn't afford shit when I was really younger. Yeah. Uh, oh. how, however, though, I mean, uh, as going as, as quality and going as best sneaker, I, I can't put this higher than two out of it. actually, on none of them, actually. I uh, really, uh, they, they, they was there for what they was there for, for people that was that couldn't afford like big time sneakers. Uh, and Cam is right. They would if if, if you were a, a person that ran a lot or walked a lot, some things would have holes in them, all right. And then you, you have them little ass kids saying, "Pow, pow!" Shooting at your damn shoes, <laughs> shooting at your damn shoes. See, yeah. see your whole big toe in there. So, so yeah, they're, they're, they're not really good sneakers to have at all. Okay, I, I can't I can't knock the Walmart brand shoes and stuff like that because you know what they're affordable. You're absolutely right. I bought a pair of boots from Walmart one time, thirty dollars. That shit lasted two and a half weeks. Then I went to Danner and bought a pair of boots, hundred twenty five dollars. That shit lasted me two and a half years. I'm just saying, 
you get what you pay for. And I understand this at the same time. If you ball in on a budget, live within your means, by all means. If you ball on a black card like Cam is, you get the Balenciagas, okay? By all means, live within your means. But at the same time, this ain't the shit. I can't. I can't do it. I can't wear them Asics. I can't wear them Avilas. <laughs> you know, I can't. I, I use. I'm not gonna lie. I, I rocked the shacks the for a while. I rocked the shacks for a while. Oh, I wore some. I had some shacks. I had some shacks and I had some and ones. I, I did some it. Checks. I had some when it comes to when it comes to basketball shoes, I'm not gonna spend money on basketball shoes. You want to know why? Because I'm gonna rip through them shits. I'm gonna go get me the shacks and the and ones and so and the Stephon Marbury's. <laughs> so listen. Um, it's not that it's terrible. You, if, if it's what you can afford, it's what you can afford. You got to have shoes on your feet, period, point blank. CJ don't do a lot of athleticism, okay? So CJ don't need shoes that last 75 years. He don't need high-quality basketball shoes. He just needs a shoe that will cover his toes and tie up. And he might even it. get the Velcro if he feel fancy. Yep. And cover the smell of his feet. So – Listen. Oh, my feet did not start. If this is what you can afford, this is what you can afford, and you need to live live what you need to. But if you have some a little bit of scratch and you could afford a little bit better, we about to name two brands that that'll help you out. That ain't well, one of them might break the bank. I got a fat foot. All right, I, I need some wides. A couple of these brands don't have wides, so what do I get? I got a Reebok. Shout out to Reebok for having wide shoes. Okay, shout out to Adidas. Ooh. All right, because hip the hip hop scene in the in the nineteen eighties and nineteen nineties was full of shell top Adidas. Okay, um, shout out to Vans, which are Vans were kind of like that for me in high school. A lot of a lot of the fly girls had Vans on. They had them white Vans or the black Vans and whatever. It was it's cool. still a thing. It's still a thing. Oh, I know. My pick is Converse. You want to talk about shoes? Um, Converse started in 1908. It is one of the longest running like shoe brands other than Keds. Keds has been around longer, which Fuck. Mom, that's all my mom wears is Keds. All right. But listen, uh, Converse was invented in 1918 or 1908. But what most people remember Converse for was them Converse All Stars that came out in 1917. They changed basketball forever. Okay. Converse All Stars were created for basketball, period. And, and then all of a sudden they came out with the Chuck Taylors. So listen, Chuck Taylors go with any outfit. I don't care. In the hood. I see them everywhere, anyways. And I, I'm no, sorry. I've seen people on the red carpet with the dress. Chuck, Chuck Taylor's, Taylor's go everywhere. Go and then all of a sudden, yeah. out of nowhere, it's too. And, and, and to, in the mid 2000s, they blew up again. Why? Wiz Khalifa. Because Wiz Khalifa threw Chuck Taylor's drugs. everywhere and drugs. But to me, Converse, <laughs> to me, Converse is, is one of the best shoe brands because even though it's not the number one shoe brand on the market, because let's let's be honest, an answer to be named spends a billion and a half dollars on fucking marketing every year, and they have 87 million different shoe pairs. Converse have been around longer than almost every shoe brand in the world, okay? And they still go strong. They have no signs of slowing down. So my pick is Converse, period. Cool. Yeah. Hey, I know why. Converse are nice. You know, they look, yeah, they really, oh, they look good. I own a few Converse in the day. But, uh, yeah. That for me, was it, yeah. You know, they're, you know, they're, yeah. They're actually, the price range is actually way better than one pick and a little better than another pick. But, you know, so, yeah, I, out of all of them, I'd more likely get Converse than anything else. Um, but, Yo, I'm not gonna spend a bunch of money for something that just goes on the feet. I just need something that does the job. That's it. I have Converse. I like Converse, but it's not the greatest. Um, start with the fact the low tops are gonna eat your uh, ankle socks down. No matter what you do, <laughs> your ankle socks are gonna end up by, by your toes. There's nothing you can do about it. It's either you wear like longer socks or you just suck it the fuck up. Okay, <laughs> the shoe <laughs> is disrespectful. Um, Converse has been around for a while, but so is a lot of things. Does that make it the best? No, it just makes it smart, and I respect that. Um, you know, anything that can last through the generations, you know, you're gonna make it. Um, you adapt. Uh, my issue with Converse is outside of their classic shoes they're not good at expanding like into other styles like ever they try it it just 
and don't ever hit like really really um you when you think of congress you think of like two pairs of shoes pretty much and that's about it uh in a variation of colors and and options damn those, near every <laughs> color under the rainbow also Shit. For the most popular type of Congress, no art support at all. Like they're just like fuck your feet. Like if you fit us, we don't fit you. Like they just don't. It's twenty twenty one, okay? Still no art support. They don't have support. <laughs> what do they have against art support? Like because I would own way more us. <laughs> <laughs> they were with some art support in this bitch. Why is the cardboard at the bottom of my shoe only? It was. <laughs> Ten years. They refused to cut, curve, nothing. Flat. It's either you like it or you don't. Like, fuck off. I think, <laughs> Ch- I think Congress was started by some flat earthers. <laughs> like, crazy. This, is, this started as a sports shoe with no art support at all, and they never put it in. Uh, Palm burst last because they don't actually give a fuck about you. Okay, uh, they make it look cute, they give you different colors, and they tell you to get the fuck on. So I respect it because it's kind of gangster. <laughs> respect my gangster. Right. Yeah. I respect the game. Oh my gosh. I can't put them at the top of doing shit like that. I just cannot. <laughs> All right. So I'm a, only, I only have two things to say about converses. Uh, first things first, Cam said all that shit about converses and how, and how they fuck up your feet. She forgot one main thing, at least, especially with Chucks. If you, especially if you're playing ball, somebody cross you the fuck. Yo, these are the worst ankle support sneakers ever. Oh, there's, there's no ankle support. There's, there's no, no ankle support. Ankle support. It's not a sport. Yo, if no you ankle twist support. your ankle, you might as well just call for the call nine one one because that shit's broken. Buy a new one. <laughs> you want to know why? Because Converse don't give a fuck. Like, they don't. <laughs> Converse, listen, I, I'm big with Chucks. I love Converse, but yo, listen. Converse said, oh, you fucked up your ankle? Get a new yeah, Walk basically. it off. Like, <laughs> Put some, some dirt, dirt on it. Put some dirt on it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, the only thing, and second thing, and I'm going to lead into my pick, actually. The only second thing about this is that Converse, somebody owns Converse. So I have some other mentions. Some other mentions. Uh, first things first, I said I'm going to do it, so shout out to Payless. And you came through when I, when I needed you. Even though, again, again, you you in there for a couple of weeks and then everybody <gasps> left, left at me. Everybody left at me. Friend. I fuck with it. Listen, I fuck with PLS. Uh, shout out to K Swiss. Hey, K Swiss. <laughs> I love my, my K Swiss. I love my K Swiss. Yo, I remember when they used to put the sticker in the box and you used to put that shit on your mm-hmm. notebook and shit. You would be showing off because you got pressure. K Swiss. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it, it, it was kind of like having Air Forces almost. But oh yeah, K Swiss yeah. had a moment. That was the Air Forces and K Swiss and like shell right tops. So three things right there. Mm-hmm. All right. Uh <laughs> shout out to uh BK Knights, uh, British Knights. British Knights. <laughs> Some British Knights. All right. Especially the one that, that when you walk, they, they, they lit up. They light up. <laughs> yeah. That's my shit. They, they started that shit. However, my choice is Nike. Uh it's a this is a brand to go to. All right, and it's the brand to go to. Uh, uh, the reason why like I said, I mean, Converse is uh, uh, Nike owns Converse. Uh, Nike owns Jordan, and I, I was going to say Jordan's. I'm not mention but Jordan's. I mean, even though, even though he branched off a little bit, Nike still get a hefty paycheck uh, from Jordan's. Um, Colonization does not mean you're the best. <laughs> can, I, can, can I finish? Just saying. Mm. <laughs> damn. damn! Shout shout to the <laughs> shout shout to the motherland. Yeah. Damn it! All right. Anyway, first of all, uh, it's it's hard to break in like fuck up uh, like putting a hole into like Nike. First of all, Nike Nike are comfortable. Let's get that straight. Uh, especially Jordans. If you're gonna pay twenty dollars for those fucking Jordans, they, they're comfortable with shit. Uh, um, they are. They are comfortable. Though. I have all Jordans from the ones to the twenties, and uh, my feet. No, I think you said twenty dollars. Oh no, no, no! I said they all comfortable as shit. Yeah, I think you said twenty dollars. Oh, I'm like, no. 
No. Nope. Uh, no. Yeah. He, bought, he bought the Jordans that have an I at the end instead of an A. You got your Jordans yeah. from Wish. Uh, Evan's right. They, they, they're one uh, co- conglomerate, basically, that spends damn near $2 billion on advertising alone. Uh, they have so many people rocking their stuff from like from Jordan, LeBron's, KD, from tennis to Serena Williams and Rafael Sadal, uh, freaking race car drivers. Even I, even I think a, a poker player is actually signed by Mikey. Uh, so it ain't Phil uh, Ivy. <laughs> all right. All uh, oh, no. If you want you want comfort, you want comfort, you want price because price on 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 me. Like Air Force is still about, about seventy bucks. So you want you want you want comfort, you want price, you want looks. Nike has all of them, hands down. Listen, Nike may have owned Converse since 2003, but Converse was around for 98 years before, 95 years beforehand. Math was off. I don't give a shit who owns it now. It, it don't matter. Okay? Listen. Listen. It'll still break your ankle. <laughs> <laughs> listen. Um, shout out for Nike. For everyone thought, for everyone I knew thought it was an Asian brand for the longest time. Uh, no. <laughs> it, it's a white person brand. Um, but shout out to who Nike. Who do you with? You have some dumb friends. For real. <laughs> hey, I never said they were smart. But anyway, like, um, Google exists. Like, <laughs> shout out to uh, Nike, basically revolutionizing Oregon uh, fashion apparel. Because for those who don't know, Nike's headquarters is in Beaverton, Oregon. Um, Nike owns like the Oregon Ducks have ninety-seven and a half uniforms and zero national championships because of Nike. Um, <laughs> I'm just saying. Why you gotta bring, why you gotta bring it up like hey. that? Though? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Fucking hater. Nike, listen, Nike isn't just shoes. Nike is the entire apparel of many, many, many human beings. Um, I know uh, I play football with a dude named John who's like nothing but Nike graces this body. Um, so, hey, hey, dude, dude's a good ball player too. So, it, for, for me, Nike, my biggest gripe, y'all motherfuckers don't make wides, bro. I got fat feet, Nike. Please they say, they say make run it off. <laughs> some wide <laughs> shoes. You used to have this thing called Nike ID where I could customize my own cleats. And one of the options was skinny or wide. Bring it back and I'll say you're the best. But until then, I'm team Reebok for life because they make fat people shoes. You can get life with sex on your, on your toes. I mean, you nah, that, that requires <laughs> money, Dre. <laughs> I ain't got no money. I need money. Life with suction on the toes. Oh my goodness. How much life with suction on your foot would actually <laughs> Yeah, no, I have the same problem as Evan. I, I, wear wise, I wear wise as well. He knows the struggle. He yo, knows the fat yeah, foot struggle. Yo, yeah, 13 wise. Damn. God. Ooh. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Imagine that combination. You know, yeah. Yeah. It takes forever to try to find shoes. Fucking walking up and down the aisles. Yeah. But uh yeah, that no, that aspect sucks that in itself. So much more. That, no, yeah, no, so much that more. aspect that aspect sucks too, but no. Uh, no, uh, I dude, I've always liked that. I've always liked that. You know, dude, they are some great ass fucking beautiful ass fucking shoes. But I'm not paying full price for them, ever. Outlet. Never. They're more than yeah. They're more. Than, yeah, yeah. They're more expensive than Converse, and I won't. Even, I won't buy them. So no. You can. No, buy, you no, can no, yeah. Now I've been gifted shoes. I've been gifted Nikes many times. They. Yeah, but then since they don't make a wide, <laughs> they don't fit properly. Uh, so it's irritating. But you can you can find yeah. Nike you can find Nikes that's cheaper than generics. Yeah, but like, I, but like I just said, they don't fit properly. So we all know Nike is very popular, very great. Thank you, Evan. Um, <laughs> don't fall, bro. Footwear makes good footwear. Slides, best motherfucking slides in the game. Best best slides in the game. Workout gear is A1. Cleats. Okay. Can be great, can be hit or miss. It depends on the person their feet. That's a whole different ball game. My issue with Nike. Stop with the regular fashion shit. You're not good at it. You're not good at it. You'll stop making parkas and all this other shit. We don't want it. It's always ugly. It's always overpriced. 
and it's always it's a terrible color. Stop the just the shit you're good at. Just stop. You already got a lot of shit under your belt. Just go ahead and take those wins. Why would you come over here? Don't go to the regular fashion part. Like it's not for you. I know okay. you're not talking about overpriced Nikes, Miss Balenciaga. <laughs> no, right. Not talking to you. <laughs> <laughs> We're not talking about budget. We're talking about shit just being unnecessary. This shit is always just shit on the website that don't nobody ever fucking want, but they're updating it every season. You could stop. We don't want it. <laughs> with that being said. I still love Nike and can't fuck with it. But you got to stop with the fashion, bro. Stop it. Before we do uh, the rankings and stuff, I do want to shout out Kathy Ballard. She does work at Nike headquarters and she does watch the show. So shout out to you, Kathy. Kathy, bring back wide shoes. Nike. Balenciaga. Oh. Converse. Genetics. <laughs> I did not. Nike. <laughs> Converse. Genetics. Balenciaga, because that shit's expensive. You better blame your budget. Don't blame the shoe. <laughs> I spent it a grand on shoes. <laughs> Generics. <laughs> Converse. Nike. Balenciaga. Nike's number one. Nike. Number two. Generics. Genetics. Genetics. <laughs> Genetics. You being, you being number, sentimental. Number three. Balenciaga, even though they're what? The ugly shit. Uh, listen, listen, uh, some of us actually yeah. don't have flat feet. All right, <laughs> and, <laughs> and, and, and and the only reason because I'm taking I'm taking CJ's because Nike owns it shit, because Nike owns Converse. Yeah, I'm I'm, I'm doing what CJ do, always do to me. Or tries to anyway. Yeah.